Okay, let's talk about calcium. You know, there's a lot of research into osteoporosis, which is the degradation of people's bones as they get older. And a lot of people were concerned that this osteoporosis was coming from a shortage of calcium. And so uh, doctors and researchers treated people with osteoporosis with calcium supplements, and they found that that calcium wasn't getting into their bones. It was depositing on their teeth in the form of plaques. It was depositing in their kidneys in the form of kidney stones, in their gallbladder in the form of gallstones. But that for some reason, the calcium wasn't getting into the bones. And it was through research that scientists discovered that most people have a shortage of vitamin D3 and vitamin K2. Now, these used to be very prevalent in our society. For one thing, D3, our bodies manufacture with exposure to the sun. But we live less and less and less outdoors. And when people are outdoors, they're concerned about sun exposure. So they use sunscreen. And there are many millions of people in the United States of America who have very deficient levels of vitamin D3. And in our bodies, D3 has been found to make sure our, our bodies can absorb calcium properly. Vitamin K2 has been proven in research to make sure that while our bodies are absorbing the calcium, it is not getting deposited into our soft tissue. So it's not getting deposited into our kidneys. It's not getting deposited into our gallbladders. It's not getting deposited into our arterial walls. So supplementation with vitamin D3 and vitamin K2 make sure that the calcium that we have in our body goes to our bones so that we can have strong bones and doesn't accumulate in our soft tissue. And by adding this to the protocol, the two enzymes took away the fibrin the vitamin D3 and the K2 made sure that the calcium was taken out of our soft tissue and deposited into our bones. So we could have healthy bones and we could have healthy soft, soft tissue, i.e. we didn't have gallstones, we didn't have kidney stones, and we don't have arterial plaques that are filled with calcium.